Good morning everyone, it's currently 6.18 in the morning and today I'm back in Manana and I'm gonna be shooting at Inyada Beach. I've shot there once before in a video, oh no, a couple times before in a video, no, a few times in a video. Now as for conditions today, conditions on windy.com looks actually perfect but what I've seen now it's pretty much all cloud cover. It's a real shame actually because I was really looking forward to a really nice reflective sunrise with lots of clouds and lots of colour in those clouds. I highly doubt we'll get any colour at all but you never know and it's worth a try no matter what. So sunrise is at 7 o'clock and it's currently 6.30 so it's still got half an hour until sunrise. It's quite chilly this morning, I think it's something like 11 degrees. I'm wearing shorts so I can go in the water. <laughs> I'm literally the only one on this beach and it is massive. It's so pretty though. It's still quite dark so I need a bit more light in order for us to do more filming and so I can film some nice b-roll. But at the moment, I'm just walking over to the pond where I hope to take the photos. And actually, I'm getting a better look at the clouds now. And it doesn't look as cloudy as I, as I first thought. It was quite dark when I first looked, so. But it looks like it's kind of patchy, which is perfect. It sort of, I, can't, I don't really know what it's called, but sort of has that little bit of a wave effect but I think they're low clouds so they may well block out the sun so I've arrived at the pond and it is very pretty it looks really nice the reflections are perfect I think it's quite cold though I'm not looking forward to going in, but I'll be going ankle deep in so I can, so I can get a photo from the water. So as I was getting my tripod, I actually noticed a composition looking towards this subtle light that we've got. It's not going to last long, so I've got to set up my camera. So I've actually got some light coming in on these clouds, and hopefully I do capture them in the long exposure. Yeah, so that's a bit underexposed. So you can see here what I'll probably do is give it a nice tight crop. Maybe crop out some of that at the bottom here. So I'm gonna try that again. I always tend to, when I'm using a 10 stop, I tend to change the shutter speed first and then the aperture. And if I really, really need to, I'll raise the ISO just a touch. I never really like taking my ISO too high because this camera handles noise terribly. So again, I'm going F7.1, same composition, same everything, except for the settings F7.1. 30 seconds, uh, ISO 100, two second timer, and I can't actually see the scene in this one, so we'll see how it turns out. quite happy with the photo that I just got. I'm just gonna check the histogram on it and look at that. That is a beautiful histogram because it means that I'm not cutting out any of the shadows because you can see that 
the first lump or the first line is nowhere near the end of that on that side and I'm not cutting out the highlights which means I've got a lot of space to edit with which is great for this photo I think what I want to do is I actually want to make it quite minimalistic so probably haze it up a little bit so that it's quite bright I do like those soft images and this one's quite soft it's it's nice it's kind of peaceful I'll probably crop it into a 4x5 or something just so that it, it's not so tall. I always find these images tall. The vertical ones, are, they look too tall for my liking. So I like to crop them just to a 4x5. So I've actually found a nice composition here. It's looking towards the other side of the beach. The colour is just behind me, you can see it there. Quite nice, I'm going for another long exposure, 30 seconds, f6.3, ISO 200, the same settings as I had before, and focused about the same area. I've got a 10 stop ND filter on, two second timer. It has brightened up a little bit, so I'm gonna bring it down to ISO 100. And I have got some of that nice subtle color that's in the sky as well, so it's kind of bluish orange now. Anyway, I think I'm going to finish this video up here. I've actually had a really good time out today and it was freezing cold when I got out but I'm glad I came out because I got some quite nice photos of the scene behind me and that away as well. So yeah, I'm going to finish up here. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh.